This has been a question we've been asking for decades now. When will we finally see the RTD train from Denver to Boulder? Now, voters said they wanted it all the way back in 2004, and they've been paying taxes for it ever since. Ballooning costs and construction concerns are leaving the project with no end in sight. Well, Rob Harris is at Union Station where he's going 360 on this question. What will it take for the train to Boulder to get back on track? For a lot of people, Union Station is a means to an end, a way to get from point A to point B. But for Justin Bay... I find myself around here almost every day. It's a lifestyle. I never got my driver's license, and so public transportation has just been like a day-to-day -day part of my life. Tell me about your hat. <laughs> my hat's an RTD W-Line hat. I'm a pretty big transit enthusiast. For me, public transportation is more than just, you know, a bus that you can take. I think it's actually a really important part of building a sustainable future. Bay calls himself a reverse commuter. He lives in Denver, but he works and studies in Boulder. So three times a week, he treks to Union Station, but not to hop on a train. The B line was or is a train that is supposed to go all the way to Boulder and Longmont, but currently um, it only goes as far as Westminster. And you want to see that change? I would like to see that change. For now, Bay can still get to class and work, but he has to walk just a little bit further. I mean, I happily take the FF1, which is the bus that goes to Boulder, but I always think it's important to have multimodal options and to you know, expand our transit system for the greater population. Bay's in good company. In 2004, Colorado asked the voters, and they said the same thing, approving a 0.4% sales tax increase to fund the Fast Tracks program, which envisioned expanded public transit throughout the Front Range. And to be sure, we've seen quite a bit of it come to fruition, but there's been a glaring omission. Since 2004, a lot's changed and the estimated price for the B-Line expansion changed by going way up. The most recent projection in 2018 put the price tag at $1.5 billion and a completion date in the year 2042. Each person we talk to is basically grappling with the same question. What does the future of transportation in Denver look like? And how can we make it less car-centric and more environmentally friendly? The model here at Union Station says travel by train. And that's the same thing the voters said back in 2004 when they chose to expand the B-Line and pay taxes to do it. But the question now is, is that still the best choice, both in terms of the money we're spending and our goal to reduce climate change? What we really want to do is find the facts. Patrick Stanley is leading the RTD project to ask voters and riders exactly that. So at this point, is it fair to say that the question is when we'll see this B-Line expansion, or is it a question of if we'll see this expansion? I don't think we can answer that, uh, that definitively at this point. So what we're going to do at the end of this study is we'll have some options. At town halls with riders, RTD pitched a plan B, one that would see a B-Line train from Denver to Boulder and Longmont but with only three services each way. A proposed partnership with BNSF would let RTD use portions of their line, thus saving time and money. That's the idea. So that hopefully we can bring it sooner than later. It's obviously RTD's goal to have a good, connected, safe, reliable network. And if this is part of that, that'd be great. So there's one backup plan. Build a train, but partner with existing lines and cut back on how often we're able to catch it. But there are some who say we need to rethink it entirely. I do think there's a few things to keep in mind. It's fair to say that Bobby Dishel is a supporter of public transit. He serves on the RTD board of directors, but he wants to make sure that riders, voters, and the planet get their money's worth. Whether it's one and a half billion dollars or half a billion dollars, is that amount of money really the best way to provide strong service to the entire region? including to that area. So a lot's changed uh, since 2004. Um, the population has changed dramatically. There's a much stronger focus on environmentalism. I think it's important to note that while the B line is electrified right now, the balance of that line would be going all the way up diesel or gas. $500 million, even if it's an incredibly conservative estimate, is about 500 electric buses. Whether that's autonomous vehicles, hydrogen vehicles, to think the future of transportation is exciting, I think it's fascinating. I'm looking forward to what we're able to find. There's an important follow-up question here. Is a non-train alternative even an option? Since Colorado voters specifically approved a train, RTD tells me they view that as unclear and something that would need to be discussed if the decision is made to ditch the rails.
Back on the bus, Justin Bay's been checking social media and listening to a podcast, all while his commute is done for him. It takes me about 40 to 45 minutes to get from Denver to campus in Boulder. It's like nice to have some time where I can just relax and like read or just space out if I need to. Bay is Team Beeline, but he's Team Bus too. He sees them as complimentary, not competing. And his ultimate goal is to get more of us on board. I'm hoping the future of transportation is one where public transportation is really accessible and is looked favorably upon. And I'm hoping that buses and trains, as well as walking, rolling, biking, are given the love and appreciation that they need. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. Now, if you have thoughts on the future of the Northwest Line, RTD would like to hear from you. And we'd like to hear from you as well. Go to Denver7.com, find the story, and then share your thoughts with us on the public transportation in the metro. And follow the link to the RTD survey as well. Now, we're told the results of the peak service study will be presented later this year.